Yeah! Hola gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the Day and I try things so you don't have to. This is a taste test review comparison. I am going to be reviewing and trying the Great Value Stack Attack original potato chips from Walmart. And of course I will be comparing them to a regular size container of Pringles. If you've been under a rock and you have never had a Pringles potato chip, I've heard stranger things before, that is what a Pringles potato chip looks like. The difference between a regular chip and Pringles is Pringles are made up of 42% potato content. The rest being wheat starch and potato corn and rice flours combined with vegetable oils, an emulsifier, salt, and seasoning. So these are the same size. They are both 5.2 ounce containers. Um, the stack attacks look similar um, on the can at least. Thin and crispy and it's got bumpers all over it. I love these things. I've been eating Pringles since I was a little kid and I get them all the time. The salt and vinegar ones are my favorite flavor. Same size can, same kind of packaging as the Pringles. You've got the little sealable thing on top there to keep them fresh. And there is the comparison. That's the Pringles. That is the Stack Attack. They're about the same size and shape. Um, the Stack Attack is a little bit wider, but a little bit shorter, so it all evens out in the wash. There's a close-up of the Stack Attack. Bump is just like the Pringles. So, let's give this a shot. One more time for the road. The Stack Attack seems to have a little more of a crunch to it than the Pringles do. They may be just a slight, I mean a smidge bit thicker. That may be the cause of the, the more crunchiness going on. Very little salt content like Pringles has, so you're not gonna get a lot of grease, a lot of salt. It doesn't have as much a potatoey flavor. If you're gonna say Pringles has a potatoey flavor, as the Pringles do, um, it, it's, it, it has a, just a very, very slight manufactured flavor. You know what I mean? Great Value, Walmart brand. The damage on the Great Value Stack Attack was only a buck, whereas the Pringles over at Walmart was a $1.44. So same amount of chips at a lower price. On the Neurometer, I would give the Great Value Stack Attack original potato chips, and they do come in different varieties, just like the regular Pringles, salt and vinegar, barbecue, all kinds of stuff. I would give these a, I would give these a middle of the road, I like it. Yeah, they're, they're not bad at all. Um, they just have a different taste to them, a different flavor to them. That, that manufactured flavor that I mentioned may not be, it just may be that I'm not used to this particular flavor of potato chip in a Pringle form. So I'm just not used to it. Roughly the same size, low salt, low greasiness, if greasiness at all. And they're pretty good. The one thing I do like about the stack attacks over the Pringles is the extra crunch. You do get that extra crunch with these. Would I get these over the Pringles? Um, if I was scraping for money, I might. Um, and I'm a cheapskate, so I would, I may get these from now on over Pringles. It really depends. I'm gonna have to try the other flavors to see how those are. Would I recommend you try them? Yes, I would, and I wanna know. If you have tried them, what flavor did you try, what variety, and what did you think? Leave a comment. There you go, gang, another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and remember I put out videos every Sunday and every Wednesday, live chat back on Saturday, Twitch live streaming three days a week, twitch.tv forward slash old nerd reviews, and 
find me over on the website, oldnerdreviews.com. And you too can become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. We have cookies. You guys have a freaking awesome day. And I'll talk to you again. Bye now.